Check, 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 one, two, check, one, two, Miami on the Rocks, Casey Chops, make sure you follow us on Instagram, at MIA on the Rocks, follow us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, La Nota, we took a little vacation, got Janetti in here, how are you? I'm great, I'm I feel good. like I haven't seen you in forever. In a minute, happy new year. Happy new year. How are things, how, how are the vibes for the new year? They're pretty good. They're good. Yeah. Well rested. Uh, started the gym. Congratulations. Yes, right. We're doing New Year's resolution, so hopefully we don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. I'm, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna motivate you, bro. I'm, I'm gonna motivate you because you that's know. what we need. That's what we need. Motivation. So, um, shit. Let's dive right into it. A lot of shit has been going down. Um, I feel like a little bit of the news has chilled out right now as we start the new year, but. Kanye West, he's not made any crazy headlines, but he has a new girlfriend. He's been like he he after the whole Jewish thing, like where he 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 kind of like yeah, like he kind of like <laughs> fell back a little bit, and he, now has he popped out yet or no? He hasn't had another disorder, <laughs> another <laughs> episode happen. But yes, he was seen this weekend after he left church service. He was seen in Malibu, and he had a Maybach, and in tow, he had a new little girlfriend. He had arm candy. But let's see how long this one lasts, because he he, he just pops up with different girlfriends randomly, and none of them stick. Rant Not it, after Kim. Yeah, that's, I mean, what what, what does this one look like? I don't know. Do what we she know? Looks like we have oh, no we idea. There's no picture. I mean, I didn't look at it. Oh, okay. I'm just giving you the news, but I didn't look at it. I'm Got sure she's you. pretty though. Yeah, I wonder. He what always he... has pretty girlfriends. Yeah. And somebody else making headlines: Tory Lanez and Megan The Stallion. Like, it's not looking good for him. He was, he was, he was, um, like out here, like thinking he was gonna beat the case, making songs, music videos, sending little slick shots, and bomb. They got him, found him guilty. I saw that somebody like lost a bet to some rapper. Who was it that they had to shave their head? They were like, oh, if Tory Lanez gets a... Gets really? A, uh-huh. I forgot who it was. I don't want to say it was Meek Mill and then it's not him. But yeah, yeah there was a rapper that he ended up shaving his head because he's like, no, he's going to be he's gonna be free. He's not going to be guilty. And he ended up shaving his head. Damn. Yeah. I know Um, the jury was like nine out of 12 were women. So like if in that type of case where he's going against like a domestic violence yeah. shoot type thing, you got nine of the jurors are like women. It's not looking it's good. It's not. For a, you. It's not a good look. It was Young yeah. Jock, by the way. Look, I found the picture. Oh my god, Young, young Jock. Young Jock shaved his head. That's crazy. Because <laughs> he lost a bet, and somebody found it, and they resurfaced the tweet, and they were like, "Hey, did you remember when you said this one year ago?" And he's like, "Damn." <laughs> That's crazy. I yeah. mean, they're gonna sentence him. I think, and I think later this month. I think, right? Later this month. However, he just hired a new counsel. He hired David Kenner, who actually represented Suge Knight, mm -hmm. and that's his lawyer. And he said that they have a pretty good defense case. Bro, so yes, from what I heard, they didn't really have proof. Like, like beyond, you know, like you gotta have like solid, solid evidence. Now and they found no DNA on the gun, right? They found right. none of his DNA, they found none of Meg the Stallion's best friend's DNA, Kelsey, but they're saying that um, he had, como se llama esto? That he had an audio recording talking to her and he I, was I, like, I was, I was fucked up. Like He was talking to the friend from mm -hmm, jail. I, mm -hmm. I heard that. Yep. That's why you can't be talking. I mean, at least if you do some fucked up shit, like you cannot. You cannot be talking. Yeah. Just shut up. Take it to the grave. But then he didn't say, I, I, I shot her. He just said, I was fucked up that night. Like, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have said anything. Maybe it was the bodyguard or some shit. Who knows? He was drinking like, LaCroix water. Like, you cannot say you were fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and the Coachella lineup has been released. I actually want to go. I, I saw I saw um, some people talking about wanting to go. I haven't been, and, and I, the a lineup looked a little bit intriguing to me. First of all, Bad Bunny headlining that's fucking epic. That's epic. And and then you know he did tweet about how like or he said in an interview that people are thinking he's gonna take the whole year off. People are thinking he's gonna. Do you think so? I think he might. I think he might. He I put feel like some he shit on Twitter he like. Stopped. He, he put some shit on to he had a crazy year and he said uh like in spanish like they're gonna miss me and i think he like put his shit on private and and then in an interview he said that he was gonna 2023 is for me da, da, da. so if i'm bad bunny i and the thing is with in today's music industry like yeah. you never take a break you know yeah, so yeah, like yeah, yeah. he's the type of artist that could really take a break and when he comes back to build that suspense like I could see him doing it. If I had to guess, I'm going to say yeah. maybe he does his Coachella show, but I don't think he puts out music the whole year. Maybe Lucy's with featured artists, 
but I don't think he's going to put out an album. I feel like he's going to chill, but he's going to take that time while you think he's chilling to actually like work on his craft. Yeah, for sure. He's going to work on new music. He's just not going to release it to the public till probably 2024. Yeah, I think he's going to be low-key yeah, the whole year. a thousand percent. But um, Coachella is actually really dope. You've never gone? Never. Yo, you have to go. You been? Yes. 2016. Yeah. I took a trip there by myself. Did you shroom? No, I didn't. I'm not. I, in... I smoked a little bit of weed. That was it. Yeah, that, that's it. I oh. didn't do anything else. I'm such a chicken shit. Me too. I'm, I don't do I'm that shit. I'm such a chicken shit. But I saw Major Lazer. I saw Snoop Dogg. I saw Ice Cube. It was so dope. Really? Yeah, and it's so different because I know that you live right here in front of Bayfront. Like mm -hmm. you get to check out, you know, Ultra, and you get to see all of that Rolling stuff. Loud shit, but that shit is in the desert. No, but yeah, this is so different. I remember I used to be like, who are they called? These come mierdas wearing like yeah. little, you know, yeah, like the little, bandanas. Your, your desert photo shoot. But you get it. Like there's literally sandstorms that like start happening out of nowhere, and you're just like, oh, it's so much dust everywhere. But it's so much fun. It's like. You're free to roam around. You don't feel like you're clustered like so many people on top yeah. of you. It's just so very like boho and hipster, but at the same time, you're like having fun. It's a vibe. You can either go yeah. to like the tiki tiki music or you can go to like the, the main stages. I've never been to like a concert guy. It's weird. Really? As much as I'm into music, I've never been the concert guy. Really? Yeah, like yeah. I went to Bad you Bunny last year to like, obviously I did Bad Bunny, but like aside from that, if it's not a concert I have to go to, like this is something I might have to go to. Yeah, you know? this is an experience. This is something you have to do. I, I wouldn't say like consistently, but it's like once in your lifetime that you actually get to go and you check it out and you're like, all right, cool, been there, done on that yeah and you experienced it uh, the lineup's not that that great though bad bunny's the best black pink okay cool frank ocean Taoying. gorillas why when did, was the last time they why, had a song why does it say idris alba is touching down on day one what is Bro, he doing? i honestly <laughs> he's perform performing as a dj for the crowd i didn't even know he oh was a dj god bro <laughs> rosalia the kid Leroy, <laughs> or is it leroy or Leroy? Leroy, bro. Leroy, okay, cool. I didn't Leroy. Portray. <laughs> <laughs> and Charlie yeah, like, XCS. <laughs> Leroy from Hialeah is pulling yeah. up. <laughs> and Cardi B and Offset, you know the Super Bowl ads, they're already coming into like full throttle action. They're starting to work on that. Cardi B and Offset are going to appear doing a commercial for McDonald's. So, wow. I mean, they probably got paid mad money. Yeah, I saw a video of her at 11 with, with Offset and they were performing at 11 and it was looking raunchy. But yeah, it always looks raunchy. It always looks That's like a strip cool. club performance. McDonald's offset, Cardi them. B on brand. Uh, <laughs> they need shit. to come up with a, a stripper meal. They should come up with something like that, like an yeah, actual meal. A, a kids a meal, percent. like a stripper meal. Isn't McDonald's like kids? It should be a stripper meal if they're chicken strips. Now that would be oh smart God, marketing. That, that's haram. You're welcome, McDonald's. That's haram. <laughs> Yo, I can't. And do you know about sports? Are you a sports guy? Not really, but I'm in the loop when I, it needs to matter with the Miami Heat and Florida teams. And shout out to the Miami Dolphins. We officially made the playoffs. They're going to like roll out two on a stretcher and be like, yo, play, we need you. I, like, my man, like, <laughs> my man has had 17 concussions this season. He's done 20,000 tests on his brain. My man could barely think and do algebra right now. But we're going to throw him on the field. He's like a skeleton. It's going to be like Weekend at Bernie. He's like, yo. <laughs> I think it's the first time that there's three. I read something that there's three uh, sports teams from Florida that actually make it to the playoffs. Uh huh. The Jacksonville ja is it the Jacksonville Jaguars? Girl, you. Uh, you I think so. Please don't come at me in the comments if I screwed some shit up. But I think that's false. No, I. Th it's true. It's because there's only three football teams, and that's the Jaguars. The Buccaneers and the Dolphins. Okay, well, they're all and going the to play. The Buccaneers, off. I read something that said this was Tom Brady's first losing season ever what? in his career. Yeah, three Florida teams going no, hold to on. Let's play see. off. Listen, I'm right. Yes, I win. Miami Dolphins, Jacksonville Jaguars, or Jaguars, however you want to say it, Tampa Bay Buccaneers all oh, made so the playoffs the, for the, the first time this the Bucks, century. Bro, the, okay, so the Buccaneers made the playoffs with a losing record. That's crazy. Well, the, and it says, look, that the last time, the only other time that all three teams had made the playoffs was 1997, when only the Bucks had made it through the wild card round. I don't know what that means, but wow. go Florida. Yeah. yeah, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, shout out to the Dolphins. I'm happy we're in the playoffs, hopefully. Shout out to Tua. And talking about football, too, still, Damar Hamlin from the, yeah, the Buffalo, Buffalo Bills. Bills. Yeah, gracias a Dios. He's, he's, he's good. Um, yes, thank God. After that was some scary shit. 
Um, Cardiac arrest right there on the field. He's okay. He was discharged yesterday from UC Medical Center, and he's okay. So thank God for that. Yeah, players are have been collapsing on the field um, more often than usual, and it happened to be after the uh-uh, you know what, and no one wants to talk about the uh-uh, you know what, and it can't be that one thing. <laughs> yeah, fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry. We already yo. know what the <laughs> yeah yeah we're talking um, about. Uh yeah, so he's uh got discharged and his prognosis is good. Thank God, that was some scary shit. Twenty four, like, do you know Cardiac what it is to have a heart attack at twenty four? Like, yeah, I mean, they were saying it was some rare thing where he got hit at the perfect time of his heartbeat in the chest to make him da da da. Yeah, but, no, 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 no. But it doesn't add up. I'm not buying it, bro. Yeah, it doesn't add up. Um, bueno. And I know this story is gonna interest you and a lot of other people. Andrew Tate and Tristan Andrew Tate. Tate. Free the to top G, baby. Free the chop G. People hate. People are hating on him. He's 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 a modern day philosopher that we need in today's world. Um, he's an advocate of masculinity. When uh, a lot of men today feel disenfranchised or growing up with no fathers, he's like he's like the father and the brother that a lot of men don't have in this generation. He's you know telling men to get in the gym. He's telling men to to not behave how you feel, but to behave to do things you should be doing, not what you feel like doing. So that is a big. Some some of his ideals, okay, maybe we can understand them. I know from a video that you were showing me of him, we can understand them, but I think it's just the way that he gets his point across. It's kind of a little like Which is why he's so popular because it's controver it's his tone is controversial. So I guess you got you kinda gotta be like that to like blow up nowadays. But I feel like if you put Andrew Tate here in Miami, he would have got him bitch slapped by a female. Nah, I mean... Like, somebody would have put him in his place. Yeah, a girl. I mean, a gu- yeah, but... Uh, With a little, our she would have been in jail. Here. Yeah, she would have been in jail. Um, but yeah, I think his overall message um, is, is, is needed. Um, you know... Uh, do I agree with 100% of everything he says? No, but right. most of it I do. And most of it is desperately needed in today's uh, generation. These kids have no one to really look up to. And, and you know, so he has physicality. He's telling people to train, stay in the gym, keep up with their health. And he's helping with the money side. And and and, and he's really got men's back. So that, well, that's dope. Him and Tristan Tate, they lost their appeal against detention. So after a judge um, upheld their 30-day arrest. So... I don't know what the outcome is going to be for him, what's yeah, going to happen. Mean, so but... far, he's got no evidence. So, so far, they have no evidence at all. It's what was just, the story you were telling it's me? Just he's... What was the story you were telling me? That, so supposedly the story why he got arrested was because a girl was hanging yeah, out with so him. So basically, some girls is claiming that he held her against a will at his crib. Um, and basically, what he came out and said is that the girl uh, flew from America to his crib in Romania voluntarily. And her boyfriend called her or whatever, and she told the boyfriend that she was being held against her will. Obviously, you're going to say some shit if you're right. boy. And the boyfriend contacted authorities or whatever, but that's uh, what the Tates are saying. Um, but I have no reason to believe that he's doing... Um, a man who's a billionaire, who, who's in shape and looks good. That he, would be in sexual trafficking. He has no trafficking. reason to be trafficking women. Like I think the allegations sound crazy, and we've yet to hear of any type of evidence. It's very scary to me that a, a woman could just say some shit with zero evidence. Well, I think, and, that, I think men... This is taking away from if he is involved or not. Right. But I think taking away from that, you guys have a difficult role because... Me being a woman, and maybe some other women will not agree with me, especially being on the air before. I remember mm-hmm. I talked about this once, and I got so much heat. I think you guys are so susceptible to like a Me Too movement at any point. Like a girl can just say that a guy did this. Megan the Stallion, perfect example. Yeah. We don't know yes or no if he shot her or whatever. I'm just fucking over the whole foot situation. But a girl can just go to the police department and be like, "This guy touched me, and, and you didn't do anything." And they could it could just be out of like pure spite and then of emotional. Like if he hurt her yeah, emotionally, a thousand percent, then she could go out and do that. And because women will do some shit impulsively based on an emotional, mm-hmm. you know, thing. And and that's the scariest shit to me. I'm on some shit. Where it's almost like I want to make women like sign a contract or some shit. Well, like, in some like cases, I- in some cases, I do understand where the girl could be telling the truth, but in other right. instances, it's just like. 
wait, that's not it. That's right, not, right. that didn't happen. You're just hurt or you don't want to see him with another girlfriend or you don't right. want to see him with some somebody. Right. And then it becomes a thing of like, oh, I'm going to fuck up your life. Yeah. And that's not cool either. I want I need to, I want to look into like how these things work because like, for example, like if a woman claims some shit and you have like text messages of her like saying, oh my God, I love you, baby, this, that, that, like, I wonder if that's like a sufficient defense. Like, I don't know how you defend yourself in these situations I feel like that and happened how you a- prosecute the man too. Like- like, what type of evidence do we de- use to defend and to prosecute? Like, what? I know that this happened to Chris Brown not too long ago. Maybe, like, last year. There was some girl. I'd, I'm not sure. I have bits and pieces of the info. But there was some girl saying that, like, he wanted to touch her. Like, he was trying to hook up with her. He raped her. Some crap. And then uh, his manager actually had, like, all the text messages saved. And it was the girl constantly hitting him up. Like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Like, she was the one chasing him. And then he took to his story. And he's like, are you seeing? Like, this bitch is the crazy one. Like, nobody's yeah, contacted her. Nobody's like... Like, Men, save all your text messages. That's some <laughs> shit I'm on. All to the iCloud. Like, I'm, you know. <laughs> no, for real. Because it's it's scary out here. Like, especially if you're a high value. A, a man who, who, who women want to, like, be with and experiment with. Like, and if you, you know, you hurt her feelings, you never know. And what's crazy is this could be 10 years it could happen 10 years yeah, later. And now. it's like, more, it happens more predominantly with men. You don't really hear it. Like, you know, a guy says like, oh, she touched me or she, you know, we didn't, he to yo, you. That we is didn't a great do some point because shit. I've had multiple times, probably in the past two months where I'm in a DJ booth and some drunk girl comes up to me, just grabs my dick while I'm That's deep. a lawsuit. While I'm, in my head, I'm like, yo, I could That's sue That's a lawsuit. You, but it's like, no one, what am I going to go to the police? Yo, this girl grabbed my dick. They're going to be like, damn, I wish that happened to me. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like. Oh, I'm in the puta, bro. Congratulations. I hang on, don't get mad. Bobby, I'm in the middle of my podcast. I'm in the middle of my podcast. Okay, bye. Yes, dad. Okay, bye. Oh, I was going to say, Poppy, like your boyfriend? No, no, like no, your, no, no, no. I call him like, that, but in, under different you're circumstances. real, Poppy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that, yeah, so, so that's crazy, man. Like that women, and, and women do that too. Women get. When you're in the club, they women will touch you. I've been touched multiple times, like harassed, and it's like, what am I gonna do? That it's it sucks. It is a problem, but you guys have to be careful. Like literally, like you really do. I've I've witnessed it before. There's people that just like do these allegations, and you're just like, what? I like, have what all my text you? messages. I, I don't agree I with have, that. I have everything saved. Like there's no, you know, it should just. <laughs> and it's always it's always against the men who like don't need to do that. Yeah. It's the men that have mad options. Like why would I need to like do that? Like you know what I'm saying? It doesn't add up. But it's sometimes it's just spiteful women. Yeah. And sometimes then and then I don't want to take anything away from women because sometimes it is some some bullshit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes it is it. some bullshit and sometimes it's not. Like, it, to be fair, but it's so you know what it is? It's so. <sighs> it's so complicated because there's women I've had Janessi to wear. We'll be laying in the bed, right? And we'll be both be naked, right? And she'll be like, we'll be kissing, da da da. She'll be like, yo, don't touch me. But she wants me to touch her. It's like a thing where it's like playful, like don't. Right. Some women like want. Right. Some women want the men to like. No, no, no. But some but women. But in want, today's day and age, it's like you have to be careful because then it's you're so like, scary she to said me no. Because, yeah, because a lot, a lot of women say no. Like you'll be in the bed naked with her. She'll say no, but then she'll but she'll really want you to touch her. That's how she wants to initiate it. You well, know then what you I'm have saying? to have a ring camera inside of your room. Like <laughs> she said, <laughs> she especially said, yes. Dom- Dominican women are like this too. <laughs> like from what I've learned, they'll be like, oh no, da, 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 no me toque culo, da, da, da. but they'd be like, yo. <laughs> no but they yo, but they be ready and they want you to fucking, you know what I mean. It's, it's, just be careful. I just know, be bro. careful. I'm, like I'm stressed. Just be careful. I, just, I need to move. <laughs> Shit's crazy out here. Oh, oh. And, and now I want to blow your mind with something that I found out about during Christmas Eve. And I posted this on my IG story, and I felt very adamant about it. Do you know what a furry is? No. All right. I'm going to blow your minds. I have the exact... Like a Furby? Like the ones no, 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 no. Not the ones that like used to like move around. And yeah. talk. No, 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 no. So a furry by definition, is people who have an interest in athropomorphism, which is human characteristics to animals. So my little cousin, I was eating and I almost choked and spit out my food because I could not believe what she said. She goes to the equivalent of like what Gulliver is here in, mm-hmm. in Miami, but in West Palm Beach. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh yeah, in tennis, I have a couple friends and her mom's like, yeah, but they go to public school. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, yeah, but they identify as furries. And I was like, 
what's a furry? So if a kid identifies as a dog or a cat, uh, the school needs to also provide a litter box. If they're a cat, they need to provide the litter box for, for the child. God, I'm sorry. Let I me can't. tell you that if I would have told my I parents can't. that. I can't. This is high school? Yeah, it's like middle school, high school. It's like a thing. They wear tails. They have like the little hats. They, they walk around on all fours if they feel like it, or they'll walk normal to class, you know, like, meow. This is real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, meow, I think Miss I, seen a, I, I think I seen a video on Twitter. <laughs> this is a thing. I think I seen a video on Twitter. <laughs> what is happening, Casey? Kids, I think I seen a video on Twitter of someone, like, eating out of a dog bowl. It's, but what is happening? If I would tell my mom and my dad, like, if I was 12 years old and I'm like, hey, I identify like un gato. My thing is that the, teacher, sort of my ass. the teachers are, like, encouraging this behavior, right? Mm-hmm. That's what's, that is what's... Mm-hmm. I'm not down with the bullshit anymore. Before, I used to sugarcoat it. Now, I just don't plainly give a fuck. It's, it's not normal. It's wrong. It's haram. There's no, like, there's no, 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 no. There's none of that bullshit. There's male. There's female. There's not male, zebra, Dog, unicorn. Dog, you can't be a panda like, today. I'm if fucking, you wanna... I, I don't know what, a muffler. I, I like. So, your cousins are identifying as dogs? No, 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 oh, no, no, no. Oh, That's not. School. That is this not. This can't be my, like Hispanic parents. This is not in my genetic pool. Yeah. <laughs> this is, my little cousin told me there's a kid in one of the public schools schools that identifies as a cat and they, the school literally has to provide a litter Why box and everything. I don't understand. because that's what they fucking told their parents that's like growing up back in the day you remember like your parents would let you wear whatever you wanted so, some parents would be like oh it's their freedom of speech no fuck that i didn't have that in my household so every day is just halloween now i, I had limited two and you know, wear your little yeah. outfit, go to school, wear a ribbon. Maybe in for my Halloween, hair. have some fun and shit. You know what I mean? But like, no, this is like an everyday thing. It's like, mental illness. It, it's literally mental illness. But it's like what? But it's apparently fur, furries are like a really big sexual community. Because I posted this on my Instagram. This is a sexual thing in and high school. People were commenting to me. I mean, probably not Explain in high school. Explain to me. So it, it, into... it's 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 people identifying as a dog. Or People a, identifying a as an animal, but yeah. Then what is the sexual element to it? Um, I, I will tell you what the sexual element is right now. It's someone who likes that. So basically, there's yeah. people who like the person who's identifying as a pet. Yeah, let me see. Sexual community. I'm going to tell you right now, exactly. So <clears throat> it says, examples of sexual aspects with the furry fandom includes erotic art and furry-themed cybersex. Es que no puedo. The term yif, oh my God. Sometimes use is used to indicate sexual activity or sexual material within the fandom. This applies to sexual activity and interaction within the subculture, whether in the form of cyber sex or offline. Like, I don't know, you purr on camera. This could, like, only, you, this could only happen in a privileged country like America. This, this is, is not going to happen like, in a country where people are worried about getting food. Like... It says furries, it says male furries, at least, they tend to be sexually aroused by fantasizing about being the same kinds of anthropomorphic animals to whom they were sexually attracted. With respect to gender and speech, uh, you know what it is? All this means to me is mierda. And the Joker's pregnant now? The I Joker. Can't, I can't, Genetsi, I can't. The Joker's pregnant. It's haram. Plug your social media, bro, please. Genetsi on air. <laughs> I'm not a furry, yeah, yeah, and not. I don't fuck yeah, with that well, shit. Yo, we not fucking with furries. <laughs> there it is, baby. Wow. 